Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm a program manager in the Microsoft Developer Division. I'm super passionate about how developers can integrate with the Microsoft Power Platform. And in the past, we often looked at Azure API management and how easy it is to integrate with the Microsoft Power Platform using our Azure service. So today, I want to talk to you about a new feature in Azure API management called authorizations and how you can use this new feature to elevate your low-code journey with web APIs even further. So before we're going to jump right into our demo, let's quickly chat about what authorizations is. With Azure API Management Authorizations, customers can unbundle and abstract authorizations from their software as a service APIs and easily establish and manage connections to these SaaS APIs. Overall, it greatly simplifies the process of authenticating and authorizing users across one or more services and allows every Azure API management customer to build their own private little API hub. So what is the scenario we want to build today and we want to look at today? Imagine having a GitHub organization with multiple teams and multiple teams discussion. So we want to use one of these teams discussion to use and to for it to be tracked and collect issues from users via a comment, as you can see here. But instead of making every users log into GitHub and joining this teams discussion, we want to provide these users a Power App as our front, front end where they can easily file an issue. Unfortunately, we can't use any of the Power Platform building connectors. So we have to connect, connect to the right GitHub API for this and then expose this API as a custom connector to the Microsoft Power Platform. So for this scenario, we are going to use Azure API Management authorizations to connect to this GitHub API. And then we will use Azure API Management to export our API as a custom connector to the Microsoft Power Platform. Let's take a look at our Azure API Management instance and talk about how we can create and easily configure an authorization here. So on our left side, via APIs, you can now see authorization as another tab here. You can see I already went ahead and created a bunch of different authorizations. For you to easily create a new one, you just hit the button right on top of um, the button here. You can choose one of the identity providers you want to set up your authorization with. For our use case, we are going to use the GitHub identity provider. You're going to provide a provider name. You're also going to provide a client ID and a client secret, which you're getting from your GitHub organization. You're also able to configure the scope, so you're defining how to make the API call. Last but not least, you're also providing an authorization name. And after this, you just simply hit the Create button. After setting up your authorization, you have two more things left to do, which is login and access policies. During login, you will set up your connection to this authorization provider. And then during access policy, you can define the access scope and how it can be used for your authorization. So I went ahead and already created an authorization, which is called GitHub Discussion here. Via our authorization tab, you can see I already created a connection called Auth Discussion, and you can see it is already up and running. Let's check on the access policies here as well. As we talked about, you can decide your, ex, uh, your um, scope here as well. And currently, we support service principle and managed identity as an access scope. In our use case, we chose our Azure API Management Service instance to be or to function as a managed identity here. So we use the radio button all the way at the bottom here as well. So now that we configured our um, access policy and our authorization, we want to see how we can apply this to our APIs. For this, I will go into my API section here. I already went ahead and created or imported an API called GitHub Discussion. I added another operation, which is called post discussion comment, 
So I want every time this somebody is calling this API, I want to create a comment on my GitHub discussion forum here. So we added the API here. Now the question is, how can I combine my authorization created before now with my API? For this, I'm using policies. And by simply using the get authorization context policy, you're applying this authorization that you configured and set up before to your API call. You only have to provide the name of your authorization, which in our use case is GitHub discussion. And you also have to apply the connection or the authorization ID, which you created as well. And in our use case, as you saw before, it is auth discussion. So now what does, does this policy do? Every time I'm making an call, API call here, these policies are being applied. So every time my authorization created before is being applied to my API and extending my authorization and applying my M token to my authorization here. So this means every time I'm making an call, API call, my authorization is applied to my call and I'm authorized to make this API call. But let's see and test it first. For this, I'm going to switch into my testing tab. I already defined a request body. Let me type in, we want to do an APEN test here. And now I'm just going to hit the send button. As you can see, I'm getting a 201, which means a comment has been created. Let's check and perfect. This comment has been created on my GitHub discussion. Awesome. Now that I was able to test it, I want to expose this API to the Microsoft Power Platform. I can do this within my Azure API management instance. Via the um, dots here, I can hit the Manage Co Power Connector button. And you can see from here, I can easily create a so-called custom connector. I have to define the API I want to expose to the Microsoft Power Platform, I have to choose the Power Platform environment, and I can also give the custom connector, an, um, custom connector a name. As soon as I hit the Create button, a custom connector is being generated on the Microsoft Power Platform. Let's take a look here. As you can see on the Power Platform side, Via the custom connector tab, we are now able to see the GitHub discussion custom connector here as well. Before we were going to use this custom connector, I want to test it within my Power Platform portal here as well. Let's type in some body from Power. Let's hit the test operation button. Awesome, I'm also getting a 201. And if I check on my GitHub discussion, you can see this comment also um, appears. So now that we tested in it in Azure API Management, we tested it in my Power Platform portal as well. We now want to use this custom connector in a Power App so we can expose it or provide it to a bunch of our users. I went ahead and created a Power App. The only thing we now have to do is we have to, um, we have to add this custom connector to my Power App. So via the data tab here, you can see I went ahead and added this GitHub discussion custom connector to my app. Now what I want to do is every time a user is hitting the send button here, I want to make the API call that initially posts a discussion in my GitHub discussion. So for this, you can see I'm calling the custom connector's name. I'm then calling the operation's name and then passing along a body. And for this, I'm referring to the textbook, text input um, textbooks I created before. So let's test it. I'm going to provide feedback. And I'm going to hit the send button. Perfect. I'm getting a note that it has been successfully created and checking on my um, GitHub discussion as well. I can see the comment is here. So with this short little demo, you were able to see how easy it is to configure Azure API management authorizations. We also demonstrated you how easy it is to use this new functionality together with the Microsoft Power Platform and for you to use this custom connector in the Microsoft Power Platform.
Thanks everyone for watching and make sure to reach out if you have any kind of feedback.